Cross and his partner have quickly become one of the most fearsome duos in NXT. Tonight, they challenge Candice LeRae and Johnny Gargano in this unique scenario where Gargano's NXT Championship is on the line. Scarlett has been pulling the strings from the shadows since the beginning of this rivalry. And even though she's banned from ringside, you have to wonder when she steps into the spotlight she loves so much. Scarlett loves the spotlight, and the spotlight loves her right back. I don't think anybody in the WWE Universe would mind a Scarlett appearance tonight one bit. Except maybe Candice LeRae and Johnny Gargano. Alright, I was waiting for them to be quiet. But yeah, here's my character's new look. I decided, you know what, since I was joining a stable with uh, with Karen Cross and Scarlet, assuming that they're not going to end up betraying me, because, I mean, the name of the storyline is Double Cross. I have a feeling that they're going to Double Cross me. But uh, yeah, I decided I got to fit the, the whole gothic theme. So, that's uh, the look for my character. Did I just end up doing the same move again? Yeah. Um, I'll let you guys try to figure out where my inspiration came from. I'll give you a hint. It's from Stardom. And, uh, I'll tell you the answer at the end of this match. So at the end of this match, I'll, I'll reveal who the inspiration was. It's slight inspiration. I, I did make tweaks, but it is a wrestler in Stardom that I got, um, inspired by her look, I should say. And uh, I'll reveal that wrestler at the end of this match. Now let's just try to beat up Johnny Gargano. Johnny wrestling. And again, it's kind of funny that everyone in this match is no longer in WWE. <laughs> Except maybe is Candice still involved? I, or is she gone? Because I know Johnny, Johnny Gargano let his contract expire. And then I want to say uh, Candice recently was let go, or recently let her thing expire. But I don't, I don't remember for sure. But yeah, I'm hoping they actually allow me to join the group. I feel like what's going to happen is I'm going to help them. They're going to get what they want. And then now that they have what they want, they don't need me anymore. And then they're going to betray me. And hence, that's where the name Double Cross is going to come from. I mean, obviously, it's a play on his work, his name, Karrion Cross. But that's my feeling. I think they're going to betray me. I hope that's not the case. But I guess we'll find out. I haven't watched anyone play this. I, I do have a friend who streams this game every once in a while. But he's doing a babyface male playthrough. So all these storylines are kind of new for me since I'm doing a heel female playthrough. show off some of these new moves I got. So yeah, like I said, I completely uh, I completely changed all my characters' movesets. Well, not every single one, but almost every single one. Some of the diving stuff are still the same. That move is cool. I even changed my character's uh, signature and signature. Alright, come on. I know, right? Move goes on forever. Holy crap. Damn it. Okay. Candice doesn't know what to do. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, the risk is worth it. 
Come on. I don't know why my character was... Not my character, but I don't know why Karen Cross was doing a strike attack when I clicked circle to do a grapple. There we go. Should have a signature. You reverse it. Yeah. Nothing sucks more in this game than spending forever building up your signature and finisher only to have them reverse it and it's gone. There we go. Alright, I can show you one of my new signatures. Unless she reverses it, obviously. Hopefully she doesn't. And there we go. No, 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 get down. Or try to do that, damn it. One of my finishers is a uh, corner move. That's why I was trying to get into the corner. It's, uh, I'm on the corner and they're on the ground. Oh, I had it briefly. She keeps getting up though. I gotta like stun her or something. But I think I'm doing enough damage to hurt her to be able to like pin her, possibly. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Bro break. Uh, still have that move. Well, at least this way I might be able to show you my other signature and finisher, maybe. Candace is probably going to tag out, though. I like that move. That move's cool. Ah. <sighs> yeah, she's gonna tag out. Yeah, get in the rain, cannons. All right, so one of my signatures, you guys already saw, it was the Black Mass. The other one is also a corner move. So I got my my finisher. I wonder how I do uh, diving attacks from there. Because I have rope attacks. Oh, come on, I hit it. She's gonna tag out. Damn it. There we go. Alright. 
save your signature. Tag. Of course, I ran right into that. Come on. Okay, I need her down on the ground. Me in the corner. There we go. Here's the secondary signature. Wow. <laughs> I might need to change it. That That's not what it was. That's not the secondary signature. She should have actually hit a move. But the way this game is sometimes. Let's see if I can do it again. Maybe this time I'll be able to hit it. Really? I break it because it says when my pinfall. Okay, what about if I go over here? How about now? That's enough space, right? Enough running space, I would assume. No. All right, I'm gonna have to change my. Um, I'm gonna have to change my secondary signature because for some reason uh, my character doesn't want to hit it. For anyone interested in what it was, it was a running flipping DDT. And here's my new finisher. Oh, she reverses it. There we go. This is the last call, but basically from the front instead of from behind. Oh, that was the title match? I thought it was basically if he won, then he would get his title match. They're going to attack me afterwards. No? They didn't betray me! Yes! I'm in the group. I was so worried that they were going to betray me. Unless all of a sudden they're going to do like a thing where Scarlet just says, Alright, we don't need you anymore. Like in a text message or something. I told you I showed you Doomsday's here. Now domination begins. I want to get it started. Fall and pray to your new WWE Champion. Discrimination made possible by my Angels of Doom. Yeah, and then I get the little devil emoji. About to leave this hub, are you ready to continue the story? No, not yet. But the story's gonna keep going. Okay. God, I feel like they're gonna betray me. So, uh, let's get rid of that signature. Hopefully it works. So, new notifications. Oh, still those down there. That's the one that he sent me before the match. Alright, let's continue on with the story and see where this is going. All loss is hurt, but this one seems worse. No way am I ready to move on. You don't have to move on, Candice LeRae. We moved on for you with Johnny's title. <laughs> and then the laughing emoji. I'll get my revenge, Valkyria, for everything you put me and my family through. Or you get beat down again. Think of what that will put your family through. Hasn't your poor husband suffered enough? I'll take my chances and don't think I forgot about what you did with the hourglass. So how about we have a match and make it extreme rules? All right. Oh, we can do empty arena match. Let's do extreme rules. I want to beat her in front of everybody. Thought maybe you learned to stay away from me and weapons after the last time. But apparently not. Guess I have to try to teach you a lesson again. This is going to be for me, for Johnny, for anyone else who's ever had to put up with you. I'm going to be the teacher now. So I'll get to show you guys my entrance. I'm thinking maybe change in the motion though. I guess we'll see how it looks. 
Unfortunately, this game doesn't allow you to do what previous WWE games were able to do, and that's where you can break the entrances down by separate segments. So you can have a motion at the uh, the ramp, have one as you're walking down the rampway, and then have another one as you're in the ring or entering the ring. So you can have basically three different separate motions into one entrance. But here you just have to pick one and have it all the way through, which kind of sucks because sometimes you get entrances that look cool in the beginning, but then the end part looks lame or the beginning looks lame, but the end part looks cool. This woman is ready to fight. But I also have a, a not different interest attire, but yeah, I put the mask on. Oh, her motion's the same. I think I picked the entrance and I forgot to hit accept. I think that's what it was. But yeah, you get to see her uh, her little mask. Yeah, so the interest's commentary don't have any story related stuff. But yeah, as you can see, uh when she comes to for her entrance, she has the mask on. And then uh when she's ready to fight, she has the uh flowers in her hair. I wanted to have both. The flowers in the hair during the entrance. Okay, I was waiting for them to finish. So I wanted to have both. I wanted to have the mask and the flowers and the hair during the entrance. But for some reason, the game doesn't give you enough points for that. I don't like the fact that there's points for how much layers and stuff you can wear. It should be unlimited. Just have stuff where it's like you can only wear two shirts because otherwise it becomes, you know, encumbered or... Something where it's like you can't wear this with this. Like you can't wear shoes with these boots because obviously you have to pick one or the other for your feet. Something like that's fine. But I don't like the fact that I can't have something in my hair and then something over my face because I don't have enough points. Not because they get in the way of each other. Come on, I was hitting square to reverse. Boom. I don't even know if I'm going to waste any time going out to get weapons. Because the thing about this game is that your opponents get up way too freaking quick. Unless you're able to stun them, which can take a while. At least for me it can, because I guess i got to build stuff up. But because I have to take a while to do that, there's no point in me going out to get any weapons. Right in the ear. Boom. That move's cool. That is an interesting move. There we go. This is what I wanted to do. Alright, she stuns. Maybe now I can go out and get a weapon. Come on, get out of the ring. But see, look how fast that stun goes. It'd be nice if I can grab an hourglass. Damn it. Okay, I have a signature. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Now we're talking. This sledgehammer might be what decides this match. So <laughs> I feel like that hurt me more than it hurt her. The ability to take risk with minimal shots. 
Alright, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Let's get a Sting baseball bat. That little pop sound is hilarious. Alright, get in. Damn it. Sometimes we're going to just beat each other with this, Candice. We just keep reversing each other. Alright, let's see if I can do the signature. None. Not yet, because she's not on the ground. <laughs> How many times do I have to hit her in the head with a baseball bat for her to go to the ground? Alright. Let's try this. Single, one-on-one -on -one match. Hit your freaking signature. No. I guess I gotta change it. I want to hit my finisher right now because if she reverses it, then I got nothing. So let's try something else. Alright. Beat your ass. <laughs> Just keep beating that booty. Stay down, Candace. Time to put you down for good. There we go. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say who uh, the look was inspired by. So it was inspired by May St. Michael from Stardom. Only instead of going with the maid look, I kind of went with a gothic look. But the whole like reddish in the hair, kind of flowery look. And even just the way like, yeah. It, it, it was inspired by uh, May St. Michael. Alright, so I went and I changed my signature and my entrance and stuff. So let's continue on with the story, because I don't think there's anything less. Let's see. Nope. No new messages. Just the old stuff. Please don't kick me out of the group. Thanks for what you did teaming with Carrion. Without you, I'm not sure we would have achieved our goals. At least, not this quickly. So, what's up next for the Angels of Doom? 
because I've got my eyes on a couple more titles. Angel of Doom. Carrion and I have talked things over, and we believe you fulfilled your purpose. We're going to continue our crusade alone. I figured. Damn it! Seriously? I thought we had a deal. No deal. Just an arrangement. And now that arrangement is over. I should have known. Don't do this. This is bigger than any one person. And we won't lose sight of what you did. Time never forgets. And we always remember. We are no longer an angel of doom. We are now a broken angel. Thank you.